Alright, so in this video I'm going to be looking at um, the NE6 document, uh, trying to or developing part number 5. I'm going to start with this front view here. This is going to be my start point going across the bottom, the 2, 4, the 6 inches or 6 boxes, up 4, over 1, down 1, over 2, up 1, over 1, down 2, to the right 2, and then back down. So I click on Bradley Tech. Part inches, hit create. I'm going to start a new sketch, same plane. There's that yellow dot. Like I said, in this blueprint here, I'm going to use this as my start point by going down my two inches. Line tool, right here, down two inches. I do need to zoom out a little bit and readjust my screen. Back in my blueprint, I go one, two, three, four, five, six inches. Up four over one. Go down one. To the right two, up one. over one. I believe it was down two. That's down two and then back to my start. So there's the shape. I'm going to finish sketch. Click on extrude. My extrusion is going to be the whole width here. One, two, three, four. Right, so now that I have that, if I look back at my blueprint, the bottom here is cut out. I've got a one inch, one box by two box or two inch box along the bottom. So I'm going to do a new sketch right here. I'm going to create a rectangle in this area. I'm going to dimension it. Again, that one by two, but it is still purple, right? Right now, if I try to move my object, it'll move left and right. So what I need to do is center it. If I look at my blueprint, the distance from my left side to my left side here is one inch. So I'm gonna click on dimension, left side to left side, one inch. And that turns it black, allows me to finish sketch, click extrude, but I don't want to add material, I want to cut material. And I typically will just type in a big number and hit okay. And there is part number five on the NE6 document. Thank you.